Camilla reportedly did not have the smoothest of starts to her relationship with the Duchess of Cambridge. Reports circulated that Camilla was jealous of Kate when she got together with Prince William in 2003, as the public welcomed her more warmly than they had with Prince Charles' second wife. She even encouraged William to end things with Kate, according to the International Business Times. Meanwhile, the Duchess of Cornwall is said to have found an alliance in Prince Harry's wife Meghan Markle. A royal source said, she was warm and welcoming from the start, and as a result, seems to have a slightly better relationship with Meghan than with Kate. Camilla was believed to have been really helpful towards the Duchess of Sussex in the lead-up to her wedding with Harry last May. However, she also helped calm Kate's pre-wedding nerves before her big day. Camilla and Meghan have shown how close they are in public, as they were even pictured holding hands just a few days after Meghan officially became a royal last year. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex attended Prince Charles' garden party for his 70th birthday celebrations. The news comes as Kate and William visited Meghan and Harry's baby Archie for the first time today. The couple went to their home Frogmore Cottage shortly after Harry returned from a royal engagement in Oxford. Royal correspondent Victoria Murphy said on Twitter, I understand that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge visited their new nephew Archie today at Frogmore Cottage. The visit took place after Harry returned from a day of engagements in Oxford. But they were not joined by their three children George, Charlotte and Louis, who are dying to meet their new cousin. A royal source said to the Mirror, William and Kate are really looking forward to paying a visit as are their own three children.